Oh, check that out. One in a million. What the heck? <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. That is yellow belly, is it? <laughs> oh my God. Look at the size of him. G'day everyone, welcome back, Josh here. Today we're heading out west, we're in amongst the cotton fields, I'll give you a quick look. In amongst the cotton fields out here is thousands and thousands of acres of flat cotton fields. We've got a long straight dirt road that way, and a long straight dirt road that way, and it is a bone crunching, teeth rattling road too. We're going to go for an explore and see if we can't find somewhere decent to pull up and have a yabby. And I think we've found our spot. It's a little bit snaky looking, but it's not too bad. I've seen a couple of spots along the way and they've been way, way too overgrown. This spot here is reasonably overgrown, but it's doable. So this is it. It's a great big long hole. Runs, I don't know how far up around there it runs. I've got four pyramid traps ready to go. So I reckon we'll get them in now and I'll set up a line. And there is a couple of little water holes up around here. We'll just have a bit of a crack of a line here and there and see how we go. And it's not very wide, so I don't think we're gonna have to be going throwing too far. We might as well just go in the middle. And it's well and truly deep enough. That'd be a couple of foot easily. And there's a big fish swirl just there when I threw that out which isn't the best sign. But anyway, trap number two. I haven't come very far, probably 10 meters or so. And a couple of meters can make all the difference. Like there could be a heap structure here where there's heaps of yabbies a bit deeper. So that's number two. And I don't mind this bank. Actually looks like there's quite a few yabby holes along here. And I think with number three, I'll go right out there on the other side just for the sake of it no particular reason and trap number four I've come up as far as I can without it getting too dodgy um, to get through there it's pretty bloody thick it's full of this um, mimosa bush I'm not even too exactly sh sure what that's called uh, we call it briber but I um, don't know what the exact name is. There's Nagura burr. There's every bloody burr known to man out here. Um, that hole runs all the way down there. I still can't see the end of it. So I reckon if we do any good, we'll come back here with the kayak, I reckon. But we'll give it a test out. Never been here before. Could be nothing. I've had holes like this that look really good and just never got anything. So you never know until you try. And I probably should mention, I've got some nice big chunks of liver in there for bait. So you can't get much more better bait than that. And I reckon we're going to throw a line out here. I'll just give you a quick look at where we are. That's the main hole. And over beside the main hole, there's this little channel that runs along through here. It's only, oh, I'll be maybe two metres wide, metre wide up there. And on the rod, I've just got a bit of lamb on there. It's been soaking in the juice out of that liver. So, you're pretty good bait to me, I reckon. I reckon we'll just go down there. We'll put it right in the middle of the hole. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come along here and put me net. Probably not the best thing to do to a net, but if there is a snake hanging around here, hopefully we'll scare him down the creek a bit. This line's only been out in this little channel for a couple of minutes and it seems to have something on it. Nothing of any great size though, I don't think. We'll have a look. Oh, there's definitely something on there. It's a bit hard to get down into this bank. It's further down there than what it looks. Yep, definitely got one. They're definitely in this little channel part, and he's a nice, clean yabby too. He's just not quite big enough, so we'll let him go. If I've got that one in a couple of minutes, I'm pretty confident we're going to get some decent ones out of here. Uh, if not, we will start keeping them. And I'll shift over into the main channel, just because that wind is blowing straight into my face now. And if I face this way, the wind will be blowing into the camera. It makes a lot of noise. 
if we face this way the wind's blowing that way hopefully it'll be a bit quieter for you well that was even quicker in this bigger part i'm pretty sure that's a yabby I was having a fair old bite but almost like a fish no it's a big yabby he's got a, got himself caught in a big heap of bloody slime or something there got him oh i caught the slime the yabby's still holding on and again he's not terribly big but that one there can go into the bucket let him straight into the bucket what else did i catch that's a bloody root off one of those tree off one of those plants that line no longer hit the water and there's definitely something dragging on that beautiful and they're hungry look at that he's a bit too small that fella he's nearly a bait size yeah he's not quite big enough that one so we'll let him go over in this channel I'd literally just let that little bait size fella go, put the line back in there, and it's actually going off. I don't even know. Oh, this one feels a bit better, actually. Feels a bit better. He actually was going off like a fish. Hopefully that means they're hungry. Oh, yeah. He's a bit better, that one. Still not the giant. Oh, he's not too bad. He's not a giant, but I think we'll keep him and we'll upgrade as we go. And I'm literally right on the tip of this um, big long hole, so I can only imagine how many yabbies are up all the way up around there. And that line is just one after the other. It's gone really... What the heck? Did that show up on camera? That was a big yabby just flipped off the bank. And my meat was out there. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know what happened then. There was a yabby like on the top of the water. I've never seen that before. This line's going off, so we'll... whatever's on there is bloody not happy. We better put him in his happy place in my bucket. Oh, look at that. Nice one. Monstone, he's not letting go of the meat either. You beauty. Oh, check that out. One in a million. What the heck? We're going to have a look at this. He's got that meat in his mouth. He won't let go of it. I might even keep this fella for a fish tank or something. We might call him Nippy. Look at the nipper on him. That's unbelievable. It's like a, um, a nipper growing out of another nipper. <laughs> we'll put him in. And he's a nice blue yabby too. I reckon I might find something to keep him in. We'll take him home, put him in the fish tank so we can um, keep him as a pet. The yabbies are busting up down here and I... Probably because I didn't have it really deep, I only sort of just sat it back down in there. They're going, oh, oh another monster, you beauty! Nice big clean... Oh, there's a couple on there actually. Yes! God, and they've shredded that meat already. He's a nice, we'll get him around here where we can see him. He's a beauty. That's what we want. About 30 of them, I reckon, for today. Anyway, this line is absolutely getting smashed here. What we might do, I've got a bit of footage from on the weekend. I took Josie camping up um, at a secret spot. You won't be able to guess where it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you will. We'll go and check that out, and we'll come back. Oh, we're onto a good fish now. Oh, Josie was bringing it in. And she... I think it's a big caddy by the feel of it. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, yeah, catfish. Oh, I thought it was cod. Look at cod. They're coming on the bite. Are we allowed to catch it? <laughs> oh, we can, but we'll let him go. Today, we'll come out to Copen Dam. As you can see, got a nice little catfish straight up. He's stinky. We've been here for a little while. We're going to let him go. Video him. Let him get back out there. He's like a walking He's not quite catfish. big enough to eat. I did get a big turtle earlier. I may give you a, look, a quick look at that. 
Oh, got him. He's a good fish too. I don't know what it is. Got a, got a good fish. Yeah, he's a good one too. I don't know what it is. Oh no, it's a big turtle. <laughs> I thought it felt like a bit of a dead weight. We'll let Josie get him. Bring him up, Jos. Now we'll get him up because he'll wreck me lion. Look at this for a big donkey dinosaur. I'm scared. I didn't know there was a turtle. Big Murray tortoise. Not very often you get turtles out of here. I didn't know there was a turtle. Let him go. Hopefully he doesn't come back. Anyway, we'll throw another bait on here and keep going and see what we can get. Ghost is on again. We just got a nice catfish. I did. Now Joe's is on to something. I was actually just sitting there having a look on my phone. Bring him in, Joe's. You're going to have to bring him in quick because he's going to get around that stick. Oh, yeah, you're right. I just want to make sure there's a stick out in the water there and it looked like she was going around it. Oh, yeah, she's got another caddy. Bring him in, Joe's. You've got to get him off the hook too. <laughs> She's got another catfish about the same size. I'll give you a look at it. I mean, uh, it is coming. And we may keep one of these caddies. I'll let this one go because it's only early in the afternoon. So I reckon we'll get some big ones later. And he was only just lip hooked. He would be a legal size, but only just. And we'll let him go. I reckon we're going to get something a little bit better. Yeah. We'll give it another couple of hours and um, Wait, we don't get a yellow belly, we will keep one of these, have a cook show up. Show them the stinger. I've shown it before, but you got to be a little bit careful of these catfish because they've got stingers out each side and on the top. And if they hit you, you're going to know all about it. We'll let him go. He doesn't want to go. <laughs> Off you go. There he goes. Oh yes, got another one, I don't know, he's fighting a bit, another caddy I think, and you wouldn't bloody read about it, as soon as I turn that camera off, yeah another little catfish, they're not huge but I nearly reckon we might even keep one of these, I'll get a measure on him, you got to be 30 centimetres. Just hold that, Joe's. About 40 centimetres. They've only got to be 30. I reckon we might even keep him. Now he's about 40 centimetres, and I reckon you probably don't want him too much bigger than that. It's only me having to feed. Hey, Hopefully we're going to get some yabbies to go with it. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at something. I'm cleaning this caddy up. What I've done was I um, cut his head, snapped his neck, bled him out. You got one or not? <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it in. I don't think so, bring it in. No, she's got a little fish. She thought it was the waves. I said, I don't think so. That's a little baby catfish, that fella. No wonder she didn't know. And that line was literally out there for two minutes. I just finished cleaning that last catfish and I threw me rod out and said, oh, just keep an eye on that for me, Joes. And I just turned around to go and get something to cook this um, caddy with. She's bringing in another one. It's only a little tiny one though, I'll give you a look. <laughs> There's Josie's big trophy catfish. Look at it, be all of 20 centimetres. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, he's going straight back towards me. There he goes, look. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bait Josie's rod up. I'm going to leave my rod out and we're going to fry this catfish up. A couple of beautiful fillets come off that little caddy. First thing I'm going to do with this catfish, I'm going to give it a good dose of curry powder. Ooh, <laughs> Rub it in. What that'll do, that'll take all the catfish flavour out of it. <laughs> 
make it nice though. A good dose in the curry. And the second step I'm gonna do, I've got some of this crispy fry garlic flavor. It's bloody good stuff. So we've just got our fillets in the Ziploc bag with the crispy fry. And we're just going to let them sit in there for a while while the oil heats up. And it's a little bit windy. I'm not too sure how hot this oil is going to be. But we'll give it a crack. We'll just test it. Oh yeah, that's nice. You see it's just starting to bubble away. That's beautiful. We don't want it too hot. Got a couple of perfect little fillets off that little catfish for me. Josie won't eat fish, so they're just absolutely perfect for me. She might have a go at it, she said. And the way that's sizzling and frying up, that's exactly how you want it. And it actually smells beautiful. So Josie's going to have a taste test, see how they went. Have a go, Josie. She doesn't like fish, so. But she does like curry. <laughs> Sometimes. So she's gonna be a 50-50. What's it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> you like it or not? Not really. A little bit. Well, she hasn't spat it out, so. <laughs> and they turned out absolutely perfectly. Look at that. There's not much mm. fishy taste to it. No. There's actually no fishy taste at all of that. <laughs> Beautiful and fresh. And you literally don't get any fresher than that. I literally dragged it out of the water, knocked the fillets off, bled it, knocked the fillets off it instantly, and straight in the deep fryer. Yes. Mmm. I like it. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful and white and flaky. That is absolutely delicious. I probably should have kept all them and cooked them up. Yeah. Josie's eating the whole thing. This is my <laughs> last bite. And I'm just wandering over here to check this trap and I'm gonna give you a look at this because it's just too nice not to. Have a look at that for a beautiful place. Let me be absolutely perfect. Oh yes, hooked up. Nice fish too. Grab your rod there, Joe. Okay. I was just baiting Josie's rod up for her and something decent has hit the line here. Where are you? Drag him over there. I'll tell you what, he hit pretty bloody hard. He's not a real big fish. It's only another little catfish about the same size. You want to hold me rod for me, Josh? Yeah. He's nothing really to ride home about. And we're actually going through these little yabbies. These are all the little bait yabbies I got from the quarry. Oh, got him that time. I don't think it's a catfish this time. I reckon it's a spangled perch. Yeah, I thought it was. As soon as I put a worm on, these little spanglies are just smashing the worm clean off it. I'm reading. Almost instantly. I'll give a worm another one more go and if these spangled perch keep smashing off i'll go back to a yabby yeah almost instantly look at that mm. got another one yeah another little spangly i think oh no that's a little catfish i thought it was a little spangly i was blaming the spangled perch little baby catfish good to see Oh, I was just checking my bait. I didn't think I had anything on here, but there's not a bad fish on it. He must have been just sitting on it. Oh, he's having a fair go too. It's only another little catfish. He must have been just sitting on that. That line, I was um, just before I didn't check the bait. It wasn't seeming to be doing anything. There was a fish on the end of it. I got this fella here, he's a fairly <laughs> substantial sort of a yabby. We'll put him out there and hopefully something decent comes along. See if we can't catch something decent. We're hooked up again, something's taken that big bait. Doesn't feel very big though. 
unless it's just not putting up a fight. Oh, a little cod. There you go. He didn't put up much of a fight, but he did hit that big bait. There we go. Little Murray cod. Hit the bait. And that was that big bait, that big yabby. So I might put another big yabby on. Hopefully he's, uh, something a bit bigger comes along. Let him go. There you go. And poor old Joes, she's been hanging out to catch a cod, haven't you, Joes? Huh? You've been hanging out to catch a cod? Yeah. And you missed out. Because <laughs> you went to bed. That's all right, it was only a little one. There's the remnants of me yap, big yabby. What I'm going to do, just to pretty it up a little bit, I'm going to throw a worm on there. We're hooked onto a proper fish now, I think. Oh, he's having a bit of fun out there, I can see him. I'll just see if I can get a bit of light going for you. Oh, now my light's not going to work. <laughs> it's all happening. I've got an extra light here for you. Oh, it's only another catfish. <laughs> he's a bit bigger though, this one. I rigged up a couple of lights. And Josie was asking about a torch and I turned away to um, see where a torch was. Turned around, my bloody rod's nearly in the water. Got a heap of lights rigged up for you so you can see everything. <laughs> I had them turned off. He's a good catfish, that fella. Oh, there goes my other torch in the water. Let him go. There he goes. Watch him swim off. He's swimming up the bank now. <laughs> there he goes. He's off now. Yeah, so how was that for a night fishing? Uh, we got over there a bit early and it was bloody hot and no shade. Like, we were literally cooking. We ended up just going for a swim until late Arvey. And I did put the yabby traps in. We only got, we got one yabby, a nice big yabby. Um, probably should have put it in. Uh, didn't. And all those catfish were about a quarter or a third of what we actually got. I didn't want to put them all in one video because it just got too monotonous. We were, we were literally just pulling in catfish after catfish. And that one that I cooked oh, was probably the best fish I've ever tasted in my life. I'm going to cook them that way every time again. When I tipped that curry powder on there, a big clump come out and it was, I, sort of, I didn't want it that thick. But I'm glad I did because the oil sort of cooked the curry out of it. And that was the best tasting fish that I've had in a very, very long time. We're definitely going to do that again. This line's getting smashed after smashed. And I've literally only got the line sitting right down here. <laughs> right on the bank. Oh, what the heck? Oh my God, look at that. There's a mess of them on there. A mess of big ones. I'm going to have to get them out a bit deeper. Look at that! Absolutely going off! And I only just sat that line down there on the edge. Three. They're not monsters, but they're beautiful, clean yabbies. And that line's going off again. That's probably why they're busting up there. Another one. Now we'll go along and have a check of these traps. It's only been 45 minutes an hour but that wind is really starting to blow up now and we're in a fairly open spot so we'll run the traps we'll pull the traps up we've got enough we'll go and find somewhere with a bit more cover to throw another line in and have a cook up trap number one. Oh yeah it's loaded well it'd have to be a good 20 in there and check this fella out absolute beauty we'll tip them out here i've already tipped a few out and there's a few got back already i reckon we'll keep a couple of these keep these ones they're not really huge yabbies but beautiful and clean i reckon we'll keep four out of this trap and all these others will let go 
We will come back to this spot. Trap number two. Oh yeah, about the same. And I wouldn't really say that this trap is loaded. There's probably 10 or so, I suppose. Which isn't too bad for an hour or 45 minutes. We'll keep these one, keep these couple. Keep I reckon we'll let all them go. Trap number three. This is the one that I put way over on that other side. Oh yeah. I wouldn't call it loaded, but they're good quality. What they're missing in quantity is definitely making up for quality. They're all absolutely beautiful yabbies. There's probably 15 or so in there, I guess. Which ain't too bad. And our last trap. And I'll tell you what, this spot is looking better and better every time I look at it. I can't see an end to it down there. Oh, quite a few in that one. Well, it's not actually unless half of them tipped out. It looked like that trap was loaded. And we got one of our little nemesis in there, little spangled perch. Bloody little bait stealers they are. I just had a count. We've got 16 in the esky. I reckon we'll keep another four. And we're going to have to definitely bring the kayak back here before it gets too cold, I reckon. So I found a nice quiet little spot, uh, nice and shady, out of the wind. I'll give you a quick look at it. Found this big billabong. It actually looks pretty bloody good to me. I've got my pot boiling away here. Probably just covered the screen in steam. And I've got all our tails. Got them de-headed, de-veined. And I literally only want to give them a couple of minutes in that boiling water just to blanch them. And by blanching them tails for literally a couple of minutes, as you can see, that meat just literally just pops out of the shell. So what we've got for lunch today, got some spring onion, some carrot, bit of cabbage, our yabby tails. Start this cast iron back up, it was just smoking hot. I'm just keeping an eye on my line because it looks like there might be something having a go of it. Get all that on there. You hear it sizzling. Some of this stuff. Garlic, chilli and Thai basil. Bit of sweet chilli sauce. Bit of pepper. Little bit of salt. And we're just going to top it off with a bit of sesame oil. And one thing I didn't bring was my bloody spatula. I only brought a fork. I wanted to keep tossing and turning this. And I've got my feed cooking, but my line's going off. We'll just give that... We'll just double check it. Double check this line. Oh yes, another big yabby. We'll see if we can get him up. He doesn't want to come up. Yep, got him. He's a bit late to the party. He's lucky. Well, there we go. There's definitely yabbies in here. Might be worth bringing the traps back here one day too. Let him go. Not a monster. He's definitely not a monster, but we'll get it back out there and see if there's any big ones in here. Better keep an eye on my feed, I don't want it to get burnt. How good does that look? Absolutely beautiful. I've got a feeling it's going to be a little bit spicy. Look at the cabbage, carrot, yabby tail. Mmm. The only thing it probably wants is a bit of rice. Be a really good one paired with a bit of rice, I reckon. Mmm. I'll tell you what, for a bush lunch, a bit of bush tucker. Absolutely spot on. So I'm going to eat this, check the rod, and we're going to catch on the next one.